Are you ready? Hey, you think you can tell us what to do? Break it down! Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Perales? <laughs> the one running for mayor of Night City. The one? So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> My time's pretty valuable. I'm pretty sure yours is too. True. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Rhine a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. They're claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. It makes you think the cops got it wrong. Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber-psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering death. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapses? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. You gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Kareem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Kareem, do it after the conference. <laughs> the tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly-ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well.
here. Fantastic. So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? All things stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. I'm running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. Yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. If you want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the scop at Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm head of the Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Like. Huh. Wonder what about him. Your river ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, let the case go. Does he do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over the right. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? You know what? Hans was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure.
Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because well, you've got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. He said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? You know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where he'd look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done while I find evidence that gets my chief to right, open the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. Down, My guy works here. Still up. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? Job proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. Looking for a club, Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? If you don't know the address, it means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done, I was out. Got one question to ask you. I don't want those... Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Where Let me alone, got it? Yeah. Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. Fingers? I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right, Jesus, chill, okay? It's outside city limits, near the river, the Nita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass, both of you. Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Morvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. You gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. Good 
90% of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tacks this time? Ask questions first, then level threats. The other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. But why? Just why? Christine Markov. No, but Christine I Markov. know who she is. Stand with the thing. Over on the other side. Find something? I'm not out. You Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? No, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I'll open your mouth one day and Corporal Muscle or Gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working and started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually started? When you're talking about Pedro, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scops and tower trash. I'd get myself an A, be flying my fucking slim ass out of here. Paid to showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Warbath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Warbath saw him, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You spoke in my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Morvoth had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Ryan. Next time, 
and wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. We're at Queen's Race now. You gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. Come on, V. Oh. Well, hey. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. For a club, Red Queen's race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here. Hey, everything okay? Oh, Got spotted. Oh, okay. Hang on. You're right there. Cat. Neil doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. So the clubs are out here somewhere. In the garage is my guess. Look at that. Nice. I don't really want to cover up whatever it was that went down. Slam the fucker! Find out what they're doing here. If they know anything I gotta do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant. Right. Back there. No problem. You feeling okay? 
<sighs> I'll live. What was that, V? You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. This punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. I'm not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear, you can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works? At City Hall, in the street? Rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others but always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Ryan was an asshole, but an asshole who got shit done. I remember what it was like before he was elected. Also remember who stopped the Militech Panzers when the NUSA tried to annex Night City. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. It wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say where you go clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to a turn. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. So, what now? Let this go. Can't. Bolt murdered Ryan. Why deceit? This tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. 
Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. feeling shitty but something came to me so what did you come up with the mocks dive lizzie's bar used to be a joy house tiger claws killed one girl too many so people took matters into their own hands belongs to us now clouds could stand to get the same makeover i'm familiar with the story things did not go that smoothly i didn't say they did didn't say they would but Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Just gonna tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one. But all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. We shouldn't delay too long. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spike BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. 
Got any idea who did it? Cops are working the case again. Investigation into Ryan's death will be reopened. That's very good news. I feel... calmed. Thanks for your help, Fee. Your Fee. You two watch out for each other. Thank <laughs> you.